that was so impressive. I was just dropping the kids off at school and there was a funnel cloud coming over Blackpool Town Centre and by the time I was able to drive round I got the photograph uh, of it sort of uh, disappearing, fading out. So I've just legged it up here to the Sainsbury's car park here in Blackpool. I put it on the Facebook page, the Your, Your Fans, uh, Weather Fans Facebook page um, for everyone to see and you wouldn't think it happened just by looking at the cloud formations now there's some little scuddy fragmented black clouds lying around but i'm so happy i got that i wasn't expecting that to be honest with you that was a bit of a panic i wonder if it's any more I can only assume because it's cooler at night and this massive cloud have come over and with it being this time of the year warmer and this amount of cloud that it's obviously formed that funnel cloud. You don't need, necessarily need a, a supercell really to get um, or a thunderstorm to get a funnel cloud. It sometimes just happens, just the turbulence of the air that brings it down. So it's nothing menacing. But you can see some very tall cumulus clouds right over in the distance there, sort of going towards... Liverpool, Liverpool in that sort of direction. Very tall indeed, and it's supposed to be getting much warmer as well in the week with a good chance of thunderstorms, maybe around the Midlands area. Sorry, I can't stop but keep looking around. But they've got to give the credit to the clouds. All this swirliness going around. There's definitely something up there. That bit of excitement in the morning. I've not even done my breakfast. I think just by the water tower over there is probably what we saw. Henry and I, he was, he spotted it first before me. Daddy tornado, he said in the car. But that clump that's hanging down, I'm not sure if it is a wall cloud. What do you think? Comment down below. Tell me what your thoughts are. Uh, was definitely where it came from. But obviously that's dissipated now. The contrast between the, the heat of the land and the sea must have spawned something off. I'll keep an eye on that a bit longer, but that's looking quite beefy above me. So we knew we weren't seeing anything because Becky in Bispam managed to capture this photograph of possibly the same one. She's in Bispam, which is a bit further north than what I would have expected. It could have been another, it could have been a second one, but great grab, great grab. I'm not the only one who saw it then. No doubt a few more people did. Come on, come on. And they say you need patience to go fishing. <laughs> it's a bit like fishing, I suppose. Well, if anything, <clears throat> that's become a little bit more organized than the fragmented stuff over an hour's past now and there's there's not much going on which is indicative of weather chasing storm chasing some great cloud formations nice time lapse managed to get just to show you the uh, the turbulence that's occurring on the the lower level <coughs> the lower level clouds that are coming over so you know that i'm not pulling your leg <laughs> but there you go it's all above us there so we'll stay for about another half an hour and if i get out you'll know about it Otherwise, I'm just, is that one going off to the side? That's that's a funnel. That looks like a funnel. And there's another one down here. <laughs> there's two. Look at this one. That was definitely a funnel cloud. Definitely a funnel cloud. You can see it's well defined. Yes, go on, go on. Right above me, and it was going off. 
uh, quite a horizontal direction away from the cloud mass itself. That just have formed. That just formed above me. Yes, that really happened. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. You can clearly see it coming away from the side and then it, it's a blink, you miss it. They last about a minute, if that, if you're lucky. There has been a couple of little like needle type ones that have grown and dissipated in a matter of like half, six seconds or whatever. But that one definitely formed itself and stayed around for a little bit longer. <sighs> Patience paid. It took an hour to see it. But there's still this massive cloud coming in. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm not drunk, got a phone, no cloud. I'm right in the middle of Blackpool Town Centre. Oh, I like it. Oh, that was a that was ace that I bagged that one. I thought there was another one gonna form just beside the tower. This dark mass of cloud seems to have appeared from nowhere, but it just proved then you can actually see it, can't you? Rotating separately independently to the cloud system. And it did get a little bit breezy, just a little bit. And I don't think it was wishful thinking. There was definitely a little bit of a breeze stirring around. But we've got this other mass of cloud that seems to be doing its own business. But you've just got to keep your eyes peeled. I'm in a great location to try and spot another. But that was brilliant. That was really good. Is it cheeky to ask God to give me another one just before I disappear back home for my breakfast? <laughs> you wait all year for this, and then all of a sudden you need to go pee and have some have a cup of tea. Yeah, poet didn't know it. Right, before I skedaddle and disappear, I've been here long enough now. But look at all that, like one, two, three, like a cake, all laid itself up there. Way up there, I was hoping that was wrapping itself up a little bit and something was going to come down this direction here I don't think so nice though isn't it like a towering cauliflower going straight up and that's just formed itself over the past few minutes been watching that it's very pretty so happy I managed to get that funnel cloud two funnel clouds and uh, be able to share with it with you on the uh, weather fans don't forget to join the weather fans link in the description area down below um and keep your eyes open because there's some heat building up and there's some great chance of thunderstorms this weekend for sure look at that look even better now isn't it so make sure you share all the content with us and keep us up to date with the weather's doing around your area anywhere in the world we're not bothered we're not fussed it's all to do with the weather it's all good fun <sighs> i can go home now don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, fingers crossed, we'll get some decent stuff. Ta-ra. <laughs>